The Davenport North football team is off to one of the best starts in program history. But what's most impressive about the team is the bond they share off the field. TV6 Sports Director Joey Donia shows us how the Wildcats are building character that will last long after the season is over and how it's helping one of the coaches through the hardest days of his life. Give me two claps and a red flare! <laughs> Davenport North football players Let's go, boys. love playing for Coach Matt McLean. He's our juice guy. The kids really look up to him, and he's just been a, had a huge impact. You know, I know when he's a guy where he has to miss because of work and his own business, the kids are always like, where, where's Coach McLean at? Is Coach McLean coming today? Let's go. <laughs> Coach McLean is making a difference on and off the field. He's definitely my favorite coach and it's taught me so much about the sport and to love the sport even more. I'll put a, my arm around a player and say, hey, I, I think you're having a bad day. Why don't you tell me about it, you know? And we don't have to talk about football right now. Tell me about what's going on, you know, in your life. One of the big things with him is when you mess up rather than getting screamed at or yelled at, he teaches you what you did, what you could have done better, what to try, stuff like that. It's what Coach McLean learned from his favorite coach. I was always taught you know, for my father, you know, to be dedicated to things, be passionate about things. But this is kind of my way to give back and to teach and to show young men how to be. Just days before this season began, Matt's father, Dan, passed away. You know, I lost a good man, my dad, best friend in the whole world, and um, kind of my life coach. You know, he's certainly the first coach I ever had. And he taught me a lot about everything um, when it comes to the sport and, and, and in life. After always showing up for the Wildcats, Matt's team showed up for him. Obviously, it was extremely sad hearing that, and uh, it was a lot different without him here at practice while he was away dealing with that. But um, a few of the coaches put together a little band so a few of the players could go up to the visitation. Baby on three, one, two, three, family! A lot of places talk about family and Football, you know, sometimes we have these breakdowns, you know, family on three, and um, I certainly feel that here. I had an unbelievable amount of support, players asking if they could have my number, texting me, calling me, coaching, you know, the staff that we have here, we're all very close, and it's hard to put into words what that means. Coach McLean took a little time away from football, but he couldn't stay away long. When he died, he would have said, hey, you gotta be at practice. You gotta get back to practice. You, you gotta get back to watching film. You gotta get back out there because this is something that we shared together and we still will. It'll just be a little different moving forward, but I still talk to him, you know, on the way to every game. Tell him, hey, make sure that ball blows the right way. Go, so get up, 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 let's go! Let's go! McLean is finding peace through coaching. He taught me a lot about coaching, and I think the beauty of that is in some ways he gets to live on because these kids, whether they know it or not, are kind of being coached by him because it's everything he taught me, and now through me I get to deliver messages you know, that he said, and, and they get to hear it. Messages that will make an impact long after football. Obviously X's and O's matter when you're on the football field. It's an important thing, but... I try my best to install what I learned from him as, as a man and how to be a good person. Bring it in, get wild on three, one, two, three. Get wild. Be virtuous, you know, have loyalty, dedication, and pass that along to these guys because they're gonna end up leaving here eventually and going out in the community. And, you know, I try my best to try to develop them into good young men. Let's go, baby, come on! Matt's father may be gone. It's been emotional because I miss him. But he's still coaching Matt each and every day. I know he's here, um, still talk to him. I can hear him, you know, tell me, hey, <laughs> you gotta coach it this way. You gotta do, you know, or, or go love up on that guy. He needs it, you know, so I, I, I still hear the coach from him inside my brain. And I try to then, like I said, just pass that through me to the kids. So they, they still get coached by one of the greatest coaches of all time and just one of the best men of all time. In Davenport. I love him and I'm proud of him as much as I know he was proud of me. Joey Danya, TV6 News. Beautiful example of how sports is more than just a game. And as you can see from the pictures in our story, Matt and his father loved the New York Yankees. The two got to see them play three years ago at the Field of Dreams.